Welcome to Narky on Tour. He's Mark and I'm Nikki. We met three years ago and discovered that we both have a passion for travel and adventure. We would love it if you would join us as we share our videos and experiences of around the world. We have Thailand with its beautiful sunsets, its incredible scenery below water, and above. We'll share our crazy skywalks, beautiful temples, crazy overhanging rocks, and scary downhill races. Here we go! And of course, don't forget the food. So be it Southeast Asia, be it Portugal, or be it France, where we live, we would love for you to join us. We also enjoy concerts, and I hope that you'll join us to a few of our venues that we're going to this year.
Welcome. <laughs> da -da. <laughs> and so this is Nana Beach at Chapel. <laughs> Sorry about the 7-Eleven welcome. Um, nice big bed. Don't know how soft it is. Hang on a minute. Yeah, no, it's hard as paving slabs. Um, <laughs> we have a TV, nice big TV. That might be actually the largest TV. Um, I don't, where's the fridge, Mark? Have you got a fridge? Oh, mini fridge, little fridge. Kettle, wood robes. I'm not sure we've got a safe, actually. Um, he's gutted, he's got no... Oh, Waffle, waffle dressing gown. What an umbrella though. <clears throat> the bathroom. The personal opinion is not great. The, <laughs> the fan has kind of lost some of its filter crap. Um, the floor is quite wet. Oh, that's, uh, it's not great. Anyway, never mind. I'm going to spend much time in there. Overall, first impression is it's not clean. It, it smells clean. Windows are filthy. Like, seriously filthy. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Mark's found dust. Uh, we've got one chair for our tiny terrace. Got water. It's the Gulf of Thailand, so this is a different coast to what we used to. It's really, really quiet here. Coconut trees. We will no doubt let you know what it's like during our stay. And here we are outside of the hotel. The hotel is just across the road, literally across the road, Marana Beach. And this is the beach. I think it's more our cup of tea than Graceland's. There's a few little eating places just up the way. We drove in down that road. And we're going to go and investigate that side. It does look gorgeous. Another day, another dollar. We um, a bit of a disaster at Nana Beach Resort. We proved pretty much neither of us slept. The bed was so hard. There were ants everywhere. Um, food last night was dreadful. Mark ordered a chicken fried rice. So the rice at best was warm, but the chicken inside it was cold. So they've not even bothered warming it up. It was well, you couldn't eat it. So dangerous if nothing else. This is a real shame, but so we drove an hour up the coast. Um, we're now in, I don't know where we are. <laughs> I don't even know what there. Rachipurikani or something. <laughs> we're at Pine Beach Resort. Um, it was just over 20 euros a night. It's a basic room, it's got aircon, it's got a fridge, it's got a TV. The bed has got to be more comfortable than the one yesterday last night. There's some gorgeous like apartments there right on the beach. Um but sadly there's just no one here. It's it's such a shame, it's such a beautiful place. Literally 
literally, literally got the beach to ourselves. Miles and miles and miles. The staff are really friendly here. I know she had to get, um, she, used, she had to use translate on her phone because we couldn't understand each other, which was quite funny. But it's... Thank God for Google Translate. Yeah, thank God for Google Translate. But this is more, I guess, more proper Thailand. Without the bells and whistles and the frills. But it, it is absolutely gorgeous. It's still hot, I think it's 33 degrees today. Um, tomorrow we head up to Bangkok. So we're just trying to make the, the best of our last day at the beach. I will say later where we are, but I really have no idea. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. So we're off on a little walk now. every day a cow on a beach so we've walked quite a while we've not really seen anything yet We've stopped at a bar on our secret little beach and there's a, um, a long tail boat coming in, I guess it's a fishing boat and they're taking a homemade trailer out to meet the boat it looks like hard work to me <laughs> First people we've seen on the beach. It's the, it's the only people apart from the, the owners, actually the on the beach. That yeah. is such hard work getting that boat in. Oh, got it on there. It's a weird sea because in quite a bit of green, it's thank you. It's really warm. Interesting. Oh, this white guy here now pulling the rope to get the boat in. seem to be a lot of pulling going on, I've got to say. Go on a hand? Yeah. Oh, it's a she. Sorry, she. She's going to pull. Oh. Uh, no, that's cheating. I think they've got a car that's actually pulling the rope. Ah, uh, that's cheating. Because the rope's moved. Ah, yeah, there it goes. Oh, dog, get the way. Oh, dog, not a good time to have a wee. Motorbike, I think. Is it a motorbike? Yeah. Oh, dog, move. Ha, <laughs> And the boat is in. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, moped's pulling it. 
probably quite a big mocha of the salt to get that out of the sun. That's a patronise the locals. <laughs> Bravo. I don't know if they've caught anything. Ah. Oh, stop. <laughs> Some people never grow up, do they? <laughs> hey? Give a girl in a swing and then she's miles away. <laughs> but, not a bad view. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, you old swinger. The best swinger in Thailand. <laughs> No, uh, palm trees here. Hello. <laughs> this is our last day before we head up to Bangkok tomorrow morning. We've got one night in Bangkok before we fly home. We've had an amazing time. Yeah. Oh, it's been incredible. Um, we started in Bangkok. We went. We flew up then to Chiang Mai. We hired a car and went to Chiang Mai. We then drove back down to Chiang Mai where we caught an eventful flight to Koh Samui. It was very eventful uh, via a stop off in Phuket that wasn't planned. Um, we had a few days in Koh Samui and then went to Rayleigh, which was beautiful. Uh, Koh Lanta, which we absolutely fell in love with Koh Lanta. Onang, we kind of didn't fall in love with Onang. We went to Koh Sok National Park, which is our favourite anyway. Uh, then we went to Koh Lak, because we thought it would be really interesting. It's not somewhere that we've been before. Then we drove up to Champon. Um, Champon we liked, we just had a bit of a disaster with the hotel. So we got in the car this morning and drove up the coast an hour to, and I have to read this because I can never remember it, to Bang Safan Prachup Kiri Khan. Can you say that again? <laughs> yeah, if I read it. <laughs> <laughs> Bang Safan Prachup Kiri Khan. I'm going to have nightmares about that. I'm glad we found this. This is a real gem. This is a real find. We didn't know where we were going. Through a jungle. Um, um, through some dodgy roads. Dodgy roads, over some dodgy bridges. We pulled up here and we thought, okay then. And the beach, uh, we fell in love with. It, it is, the hidden gem is a kind of an overused statement property, but it is, it's beautiful. And actually now it's really busy. If you can take in the fact that I can see one, two, three, four, five, six people. It's really busy. We've had the complete beach to ourselves all day um, there's an island just over the way there which apparently is a fantastic place to go diving we're going to come back next time and we're going to spend a few days here and maybe visit that island not that we're massive snorkelers but it's supposed to be really good um yeah so we're signing off now we're going to enjoy our last night have some nice food have some nice chang maybe a singer and finish with a cocktail and uh, yeah uh, there may be a little bit in Bangkok tomorrow and then we fly home so thanks for joining us on our little journey um, two old court juice can do it anybody can do it <laughs> we've hired a car for the first time we winged it and we're planners so we don't wing it very often um, but yeah it's been a blast and we've loved it bye
I love Thailand. <laughs>
so an hour and a half to go until we drop the car off get near Bangkok ish roads are getting busier more built up Finally made a petrol station of maybe how many kilometers on the clock? Uh, I think as you can see we are pretty empty. Driving through Bangkok we've literally it was 10 minutes to the airport yeah. to drop the car off. Do we, do we drive 10 minutes? Shush. Can you turn it off please please? Well we're at Suvambarmi Airport that was not a fun drive, the last hour was an absolute nightmare. But we think we're in the budget parking <laughs> bay. Now the fun of finding our hotel. I just want to hand over these car keys and run far, far away. Oh baby, I love 